Why podcasting? A lot of marketers dismiss podcasting because they don't believe that it has the impact of videos, for example. But they are wrong to think this because a lot of people like to listen to podcasts, especially when they are on the go. There are many successful podcasters out there that have a huge following. People enjoy their podcast so much that they can't wait for the next one. How good would it feel to be in this position? Well, you can be an in-demand podcaster and you can make a profit from it as well, which is what this training is all about. What is a podcast? A podcast is an audio recording that is usually a series of episodes. It is an MP3 format, which means that you can download it and play it on any device that will play MP3 audio, such as an MP3 player, a smartphone, a tablet, a laptop. You can listen to a podcast while you are driving, but you cannot watch a video. You can think of a podcast a bit like talk radio, but it is on demand rather than a continuous program. There are podcasts available on all kinds of subjects and in a number of different niches. Are podcasts always audio? No, not always. There are video podcasts that you can watch on websites like YouTube. They tend to show the podcast live with all the people involved speaking into microphones. There are also videos on YouTube and other video sharing sites that are just audio, and they will have a static image or sometimes a number of images to look at. Even if a podcast is in video format, you can use a converter service online to change it to MP3, which is the audio-only part of the video. Then you can listen to the MP3 in the gym, on the way to work, in the supermarket, or wherever you happen to be. What is a podcast normally like? A podcast really is like listening to a show on the radio. They will normally have a specific theme, for example, dog training or making money online. Most of the time, a podcast will be part of a series where it talks about different aspects of the topic. So, one podcast could be about dog obedience training, and another about stopping your dog from barking excessively. A lot of podcasts feature more than one person. The interview podcast is very popular. Here, the presenter will interview an expert on a particular subject. This is great for the listener, as they have the opportunity to learn from someone that really knows their stuff. You will find some podcasts that have intro and outro music and even sound effects in them. This is not difficult to do, as you will discover later on in this training. We would always encourage you to make your podcast as professional as possible so that your audience will take you more seriously. What are the benefits of podcasting? The growth in the number of MP3-enabled mobile phones has really fueled interest in podcasts. People now have a very easy and convenient way to listen to what you have to say. There are a number of other benefits to podcasting for the marketer and business owner. A good alternative to video. Most online marketers would agree that video marketing is essential these days. The problem with videos is that they take a lot of planning and time to shoot. Also, not everyone is comfortable about appearing in videos. If you create poor videos and it is obvious that you don't want to appear in them, then this will do your business more harm than good. There are so many videos available these days that it is a real challenge to make yours stand out from the crowd. You may need to invest in really expensive equipment and software to achieve this. Many things can go wrong when you shoot videos such as the background, sound, lighting, etc. Podcasts are a lot easier to create, and the space is less crowded, so you can stand out much more easily. All you need to create a good podcast is a high-quality microphone and a good audio editing software suite, which we will discuss later. Generate traffic with your podcasts. When you create and publish podcasts, you will be able to reach out to new audiences. You can use podcasts to build likability and trust with a wide range of audiences. When a listener subscribes to a podcast series, they are very likely to listen to every episode. If the listeners like your podcast, then they are likely to recommend it to other people who share the same interests. When this word of mouth kicks in, you can really extend your reach. You can generate a lot of targeted traffic to your website through podcasts. You can build a great relationship with your audience. It is possible to build great relationships with your audience through podcasting. The listeners will get the feeling that they really know you after listening to a few of your podcasts. Your listeners will feel that they have something in common with you. All of this is a great way to build trust. Your listeners will form a strong association with your brand or business, and this will definitely help you to sell more of your products or services. Your listeners will consider you a friend, and they will be a lot happier to make a purchase from a friend than a stranger. Podcasts are easy to create. There are not a lot of steps involved in creating a good quality podcast. Nowadays, you can purchase a small amount of equipment that you need at a very reasonable price. You need to invest in a good quality microphone for sure, and some good quality headphones will also help. You will also need an audio editing suite, which you can download for free. 
This will enable you to cut out any errors and also add in any jingles, intro and outro music, and so on. After you have completed your edits, you can create your podcast in MP3 format very easily so that you can distribute it. Podcasts have high engagement levels. The Internet is a great resource for any subject, but sometimes there's just too much information. There's always tons of written content, and providing a podcast to explain something really breaks up the monotony. It is a lot easier to get a point across with a podcast than it is with text. There was a survey conducted of 300,000 listeners, and this revealed that 63% had purchased what the podcaster had recommended. This supports the fact that podcasts really do engage an audience and will have a strong influence on their buying decisions.